Alright guys, welcome back. I'm your friend Insect. So, as you know, I'm a genius, of course. But the genius may feel boring sometimes. So, what we should do for this video, I'm going to try to teach you how can you install and use a tool called Tmax, this guy. Of course, this tutorial is for the MOS user only. So at the beginning, let's try to install it. Okay, one thing I feel so bad be living in China is that you have to always use a VPN to do what you love to do. So stupid. Now with the VPN, I have successfully installed the Tmax software. So far, if we want to use that software, we can search for the InsightXO Master Tmax on the Google. And you should be able to find this post that I created a few months ago. You can watch that or you can view that blog or you can watch me say how I did it, how I did it to operate with the Tmax. So at the beginning, if you want to get into a Tmax, you say Tmax. A and you would say no sessions because you didn't create one. So you have to create one. How can you do that? You say Tmax has the entry button. Now you get it running. Why I know that? Because if you see the button 9, you would notice there has a green bar out of there. You may start wondering why we need this. Well, because you can run some software inside of that. For example, if we type the Python 3 and we had the enter button. Now you would say there we get a Python program running on there. In normal situations, if we create this uh, terminal, then the Python program would be terminated. That's a normal situation, but we do not want it to happen. We just want this software running on the background forever. How can we do that? Well, in the Termax, what you could do is hit the Control and B, then you hit the D. You say it is detached from that session. Now, how can you go back to the window? How can you do that? You hit the Tmax with A, then you hit the Enter button. Button. Now you say we got it back. The Python software is still running there. Nothing has changed. Now you may ask me how can you create a new window since you want to run different kind of software on the background instead of one. Well, according to this tutorial, it says you have to head the prefix the short key combination with a C. So what do you do is head the control B with a C. Now you got a new window opened. This is a new session or a new window or a new process. How, how do I know that? Well, it if you press the control B with the W keyword, you would get a list of window. It shows how many processes you are running. For now, in the background, and we say the Python program at the new window that we just opened. Great. Now let me create. Uh, sorry. How can we relearn this window? Well, you could head the prefix with a comma. Let me do that. Then I could give it a land. For example, I am the best. Then we do a check about all those windows. Well, you say that it didn't really relearn that window actually. So it must because we um, did some wrong typing. We should give it uh, some string that only contains those alphabets. So let me say in Saxo. Alright, if now we go back to the window last, we see something like this, the Python and the insect so Yes, great, we just detach it again. And for now, if I read a new window, from there, if we had the Tmax A again, we would still be able to go back to the previous session, which is cool. So in this way, we could run as many as software on the background as we can. Um, but how about we just want to close this window. We don't want this process to be running in the background anymore. How can we do that? We had the prefix last B. Then we had the... Oh my god, I, for, I forgot about that, that land. Let me see if I can find it or not. Oh, here we go. The prefix plus this symbol. So control B with that symbol. It will ask you whether you want to kill that window or not. You say that you want. Then it's gone. If you had the Tmax with A, you say now we only got one process running in the background. By only doing so, you may still feel not enough. But the MSA OS, it might be okay. Because normally the MSA OS is quite stable. It won't restart it over and over again. But in some other operation system, like the Windows or something like that, it may crash over time. So you probably want to persistent all those windows that you have created. So how can you do that? Here's a plugin called Tmask Continuum. This plugin will save your window list and recover it when 
whenever you rebuild your machine. And for the usage for it, you can check my blog, search for this keyword, how to enhance the ability of Tmax with the InsectSO as a keyword. You can search it on the Google. I guess you could get it. I don't know. Let me try it out. Well, interesting. We cannot get it on the Google. Then I guess um, you could do this. Let's say you could just get into my blog and head the search button. Then you search this keyword. Can you get that or not? Yes, you can get it. Or you know what? I'll just put it on the below of this video. So don't worry about it. No, for now, let me try it out. I just want to try it out. Okay, after the cloning, we're going to try to modify this file. Then we're going to put all those configurations into that file. And after that, we run this. Okay, it seems like it's done. Let me try it out. Oh, we cannot try it out since I cannot rebuild my machine. Mm, all right. So for now, we got no sessions, but if I create one, I could get it right in there and I create, I could uh, create a new window and give it a different LAN at a word. So the first one, that will be nice to meet you. Okay, now we got two windows. Perfect. Okay, this is just an example since um, I start to feel that uh, normally I would have a lot of mission to do um, at the same time in one day. I have to switch it forth and back between those different projects that I've been working on. Um, in the before, I can never imagine this kind of thing because uh, normally what we, what I would do a few years ago is to work on a project um, for let's say a few days, a few weeks or even for months. But I normally won't jump between different projects that much but nowadays I feel that uh, even inside of one day even inside of one day I had to jump around bef between different projects over and over again in a very frequent way um yeah this somehow gives me something that people said productivity I agree with that because um so far since I did a lot of programming I start to feel that uh, those things are just uh, say toys for me you know what I normally do is to play with those codes I can feel that um those codes are just toys for me you know i play it for fun um something like that um yeah it's pretty cool to me um to be able to work on so many different projects across so many different domains at, at the same time um well let's say if without this new machine that i just bought it cannot be passed because some of those projects requires a good computer to do it okay so that's it i will see you guys in the next video bye bye nice to meet you